everyone. Welcome to Monday Minutes with Jesse and Kelly. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we're going to talk to you about plugins in Koha. Plugins are a great way for users to add functionality into Koha that may not be in the current release that you're using. So typically those plugins can be found in your Koha administration. Um, if we scroll down here to the bottom, you'll see this manage plugins. So Kelly, talk to us a little bit about plugins and, and maybe some of the common ones that our partners would be familiar with. Yeah, absolutely, Jesse. Um, good morning. Are we ready to talk about something fun or what? Plugin. Yeah. Some of the, the most common ones I would say are the CoverFlow plugin. That's actually pulling in that report information and pushing it out onto your OPAC and giving you that, that nice carousel. Um, another one that's really popular with academic libraries is the EBSCO discovery service through, um, and that's created into a plugin. Another one that has been really kind of blowing up a bit is the Galadriel OPAC theme plugin, which gives you a lot of functionality to manipulate your OPAC customizations without having to know HTML and CSS. So that's just some of the ones that we're using. And we thought we would just take this opportunity to really just show you where this information can be found and really to give a shout out to Carolyn and in Libro who created a better way to find this information. So if you come to the wiki for Koha community and search for Koha plugins, you'll be taken to a page where it gives you a breakdown of information about plugin. So um, kind of like the information that the plugin systems use, um, development, and then links to different plugins out in the community. So this is a great way to kind of see some of them that are that are out there. Um, and then a link to, of course, like Bywater Solutions um, database in Libro, PTFS Europe, Biblib, uh, Teak, and then of course the, the GitHub site. So this is a great starting point. So you can kind of see some of those other um, plugins that are available from different vendors out there. And so as Kelly mentioned, um, we wanted to share this in Libro site that uh, was created. In Libro is a company in um, Montreal, Canada, mm -hmm. uh, that provides support for Koha and some other open source products. And they put together this beautiful uh, Koha instance that allows you to search for plugins. I mean, so you have the ability to actually search the catalog. So using that search bar, you could go ahead and search a plugin. Perfect. The patron emailer is a good plugin. And then it actually will bring you to a little brief area about who created it, about it, and then a direct link to download. So it's actually so awesome. It is. And one thing that I really like is, of course, this one was uh, developed by Kyle Hall, um, our fearless leader. And now if we click on Kyle's name, it will actually work in the sense as authorities do. And now we can go in and see all of the plugins that Kyle um, has created or contributed to um, in the community and you can see here there's about 37 results so as we scroll through we can see all of those different plugins that are available you could download those right away or of course if we click on them um, it will take us into the full detail of the record or we can view a little bit um, information we could see that summary there of course if we you know jump down to the bottom we can see additional information she even added subject headings um, it looks like the um producer is actually the original date so this one's from 2009 i saw another one from 2015 so yeah you can kind of see the progression of our um our kyle loose cannon developer um, you know another thing kelly i really liked on the front page in the opac main um user box, you can see here they, they put in some links, so some popular ones. So like if, if you're looking for OPAC displays, as we talked about, like the cover flow is a good example. This will actually give you a couple more options that are available. So you can see there's the carousel, PDF to cover, cover flow, and there's some nice, nice resources there. So there might be some that you never have heard of before. And um, this link right on the first page of uh, this resource takes you there. It's just amazing that Koha is so, you know, has so many functions and yet yeah. add so many more plugins to your, to your software and make it that much better with what purposes your specific library has. Um, so this is just 
I want to say an amazing job by Carolyn from in Libro um, that that went through this process and, and created this for us. So Excellent. Time. Excellent. Okay. All right. Well, here's to another Monday Minutes, Kelly, and uh, we hope that uh, you have found this useful. If you would like to install a plugin, of course, always submit a ticket, let us know, um, or uh, you know how to contact us. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great week. Have a great week.